Um, yeah, looks like we're going back in. Um, I mean, I'm not complaining too much. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we're going back into our first game rather early. But, hey, whatever's faster. Going, uh, it's just started? No, this is a uh, warm up. Okay, map banning uh, currently happening. So, yeah. We got that going on. Uh, I'm not quite sure how they're banning maps. Oh, okay, they went to uh, Mirage. It seems like people like Mirage. I mean, it's a pretty good map. I quite enjoy watching people play on it. I'd like to say I prefer Inferno, though. Second, another game coming up. Great job on the English by me. 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100. Keep it going. Very impressive. Uh, right, so we're going straight into the second game of the night. I think it's the last one. I don't quite know. Uh, I have not been informed well. But we're 1 0 currently. So that bodes well. And the only scrim we've played was also a win. So we're looking good. Some good strats and some really great individual play coming out from basically everyone on the team. I wouldn't really say there's a weak link here. Anything it would be lack of consistency at the most. Because uh, sometimes uh, I don't know I don't know quite how hard a job it is for an orper, but uh, the orp uh, Zarvis is having a, sorry not Zarvis um, Swamp is having a few issues. Zarvis not. Coming up super big, but he is the in-game leader in his defense, so he's not completely focusing on uh, getting those shots in. Something which you might want to do uh, is stop moving around his character model. I remember hearing from a professional, in fact, last night I think I was listening to uh, uh, the podcast done by Thorin and what's his name, um, where one of the old in-game leaders used to swap around where his model was uh, on the screen all the time because it would help him focus on his aim. Because sometimes you get lost in that uh, in-game leader role, uh, and only trying to direct your team, and you yourself don't put out a very good performance as a player. So that might be something he wants to uh, keep up. It's just the little things to try and get the most performance out, you know? Uh, and we're going to uh, a warm-up round. So, yeah, oh, uh... Ooh, uh, yeah, okay, right, nothing, nothing going wrong here. Uh, turn on x-ray, or was x-ray already on? X was already on, x-ray was already on. A little bit lag here, but we're sure. trying to get some kills in, but the knife and deagle coming out from NUCS. What a bunch of godly plays. I'm going to apologise to people and say it started earlier. So yeah. I'm not really going to comment on anything. Uh, I know that... I can't think of anything who's really been disappointing. Jiggins has the most steel-coated bolts I've ever seen. Close to the man himself, Commissar Yarrick. Uh, so that's going on, and I'd watch out for some crazy plays from him. Nice taps coming out from uh, UP CSGO. I'm going to refer to them as uh, UP from now on. Haha, <laughs> what's up, dog? Don't make me panicked about that. No, you can see things. Sorry, one of my friends said he better not open up the stream to a, uh, a, uh, what's it called? An overlay, because that once happened. Uh, and it was kind of embarrassing. Not gonna lie. Good shots coming from both sides. Can Callum 
truly channel his power if he's under the name Callum and not Swamp or something. Possibly looking to start the match, the warm-up coming to an end, but whether that actually counts as the warm-up coming to an end or not is another matter. Fury with two Ys, uh, but it looks like their picture says Furry. So that's interesting, and a great picture. So, the knife round coming out. Oh, sorry, I knocked my um, mic. Apologies there. Some shadow daggers coming out from Dinku. Also, uh, a uh, Haikyuu, I think it is, a uh, fan. Gonna suck him with the old 1 2. Oh, in fact, BKD going in first, but trading evenly. Oh, another even trade. But, oh, it's very even. It's 2v2. But it's gonna be UPCS taking the round. Yeah, but do going against another uni, I know, I thought it was going to be a best of three, I'm sorry about that, Angela. Can you also uh, repost the thing if you haven't, uh, sorry, say that the second game is starting in uh, the announcements if you can. Stay, baby. Uh, we're going to be restarting down. I should probably watch Haikyuu. I think that's Haikyuu. It is Haikyuu. It has to be Haikyuu. Some degenerate weeb stuff or something. I don't know. What are you talking about? I, I'm not a weeb. I just know the name from other things. Feels bad, man. Uh, so we're starting out with the pistol round and armor coming out from both sides. Apart from Zarvis, he's picking up a couple of nades on this uh, T side. <coughs> of course you'd say that. You like watching Genji butt or whatever. And as far as I'm aware, it's full of a lot of man butt. Nice shots coming out from Fury, but not managing to actually take any kills, but Jiggins going down in the end. And them trying to rush forward and get a kill onto... Oh, being taken out by Dinku from the back. Brilliant shots there. Love us looking for something. Perfect reload timing. No, pro very bad reload timing there, unfortunately. Should have kept with those last few bullets. He had enough to get a kill, but he was greedy, preparing for the possible two people coming around. So uh, now this is uh, that force buy that we've seen a couple of times now. Uh, it's basically to get a, uh, I assume, a, a an economy advantage because you get so much money from killing with these uh, SMGs, uh, and the FAMAS is. You don't get so much, but it's a decent weapon and it's not too expensive, so you don't make too much of a commitment if you do lose hit. Jordan you know, throwing an aid, getting no damage unfortunately, even though it looked like it was going to be good. Look at this Molotov now. Probably a nice Molotov coming through, but no one's going to be in it. Anthem going down, not sure what to. Taking a lot of damage from behind. Dinku looking for something. Oh wow. Nice take onto the site from Zarvis. As they're moving on with the rest of his team. Can they find something? BKD taking kills. Tentos flashed, but still looking for something. Fury there. Oh, bad timing. Oh. Anthem for something. Oh, brilliant shots there coming from Anthem. Clutching out around on 4 HP and Zarvis on 5. Crazy plays. They're going to take that round instead and, you know, do a false buy of their own. Trying to punish this overcommitment on the uh, economic side from uh, UPCS. Dinku really getting a lot of frags, though. Really great work from them. Unfortunately, they got picked at the start of the last fight. They won't be able, able to do enough. Jiggins. Taking point. Not seen anyone yet. Trying to shoot his own teammates and just being very confused. Anthem sitting up on this high ground though. Looking for someone. Sees the MP7 come out. BKD sitting on those stairs. No one watching him. Callum throwing some nades and looking for something. Anthem coming out now. Looking at those stairs. Just know who's there, but it could be. Nice nade coming out. Oh! If it actually landed where it was supposed to, then it would have been brilliant. <coughs> 
So, no capitalization that they're going to try and just get a bit more money. Though, even though Tentos has enough to buy an orb for um, uh, Callum when he needs it. Give me this aggressive push on the A site. Not really going to get anything. Anthem luckily jumping back just in time. About to walk into so many! Getting a double kill! Slightly punished, well, heavily punished, in fact, for that early aggressive push. Uh, giving Anthem a 2k. And while they do have the flank, they know that there's coming. And it's just going to be giving over B site to NUCS. Looking for these people coming around with that flank. Got Hickorus fighting with Zarvis. Almost managing to take him down, even though Hickorus. Ah. Zarvis has a better weapon. Oh no, they had even weapons. That's my apologies. No, Zarvis had a, a UMP. Um, Callum looking for this pick. Goes down to that MP7. But Jordy just gonna die anyway. Funny that a Portsmouth player is called Jordy when playing against NUCS. But perhaps that's just me seeing that. Some really great T play out here from uh, NUCS. Which is very complimentary to their uh, solid CT play on the, la on the last time they played on this map earlier today. So we're looking forward to a lot of that. Orp coming out. Fighting mid. Looking for this peek out. Zarvis isn't doing it, and neither is Tentos. They're looking, he's looking in the wrong direction. Picking up, almost picking up, and in the end picking up BKD, but Geordi takes out Jiggins. It's a 3v4. Pushing onto this A site alone is Anthem. Not really gonna find anyone, because they've all rotated already. Zarvis taking one. Wait, what number is he? He's taken three this round. Really great work from him. Anthem. Making sure there's no 3k. That was... Um, interesting to say the least. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, maybe if they'd rotated you would be able to get something, but no. They held their ground, and Hickorus managed to get that kill onto Anthem. Sorry, onto Azarvus. Uh, Anthem having to close out the game because Tentos goes down to Hickorus. Nice snake coming out. Beautiful nades coming out from Anthem. The nade play, uh, uh, to be fair, for and against this team, very good. Not much of an economic commitment here. Coming out from UPCS most likely. They don't have enough for a full buy. So they're just going to buy a couple of pistols. <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, so... Looks like it's going to be uh, mid, looking towards going A. Jiggins waiting to push that aggressive style on them. In fact, they pushed up B very aggressively. Looking to catch this mid jaw off guard. Tento's not looking for it. He's going to walk right into them. He just dies straight out. This alerts the mid jaw though, and they're very worried about this. This could be major. But Jiggins and Zarvis doing a lot of work on this A site, clearing it out. Setting up for the team to just plant. BKD looking for somewhere into this fight. Almost hits Anthem there. Anthem looking for this fight. Manages to finally take down BKD. Pick up that orb for his team. Should be really useful when you hand it to Callum. Man gets some really nice orbs from time to time. Sorry, orb shots from time to time. A little bit of issue on the last map, hitting uh, some of those second entry flags, but oh, mostly hitting those first ones. Uh, sorry, entries coming from the other side. This is a double orb strat though, coming out from UPCS, really investing heavily here. If they lose this round, it'll be devastating their economy, and lead to another few rounds for UCS. If you're keeping an eye. No orbs on this A site. Instead an orb down mid, and an orb on A. On B, sorry. Will this lead to Callum actually pushing up? Oh, Callum did take the orb. Is that who did? Most likely Tentos, that he is their secondary orper. Maybe he wasn't feeling it today. A lot of quiet going through here. It's 
waiting to see if they push. He's got an orb. He's not going to really do that with that. Just stalling for time. If they get any information or any over aggressive moves from uh, UPCS. UPCS not even taking a single bit of damage so far this round. Ontov coming out, forcing out mid control. You got BKD waiting for him though. Not anymore. BKD gonna go down to Zarvas, but unfortunately Anthem goes down. Gets a second kill, but gets killed by the third man, Dinku, sitting with the AWP on site. A lot of damage done, but it doesn't matter for NUCS. NUCS have enough money to buy and buy again. Full rifle round rather than the uh, getting in the AKs. But mainly full rifle round. I mean, the Famas is still a rifle, but it's not quite what you want. Not bad. Looking for this aggressive uh, B push, which they've been doing a couple of times. Your Anthem looking for any aggressive peaks up onto a heaven, and then moving onto the site himself. He's getting flashed, readying with the Molotov. Be sure there's no one sitting under. Best of team moving on. Come looking for that opening pick by Hikarus. Getting killed into the back of the site. Jiggins getting a lot of damage, but not quite the kill. Zarvis going down to Fury. Hikarus going down and Jiggins doing a lot of work. Can he clutch it out for this team? There's one! Where's the second? <laughs> Getting this plant could be all he needs. Will he get flanked by Geordie? <laughs> 4k so far from Jiggins. Can he make it a 5k clutch? Unlucky. Unfortunate. No one would have expected him to come from heaven in his defense. As far as I know, it's not a very often used path uh, by the CT flank. Though it is a high ground, so it makes sense. I don't quite know. I'll admit my lack of knowledge on the subject of flanking. So yeah. Apologies to those who thought we were starting at 8.45. I genuinely did think we were starting at 8.45, but... We were lied to, in the end. So, there's, we got that not going for us. Got a banana pistol coming out from Jordy Unknown, I appreciate that. Uh, and a buy on both sides. And ECS. Being able to buy three rounds in a row due to that massive economy lead they had earlier. Not so much anymore. Tento's not even having any grenades left after the start of this round. Callum looking to see if they push up. You got Jordy with the swap or making sure Callum doesn't do it. Jiggins looking to be aggressive. That was just too slow. Running forward with that grenade and gets punished for it by Jordy. He's gonna throw a Molotov to slow him down in case they're trying to rush him while he's reloading. Sorry. Uh, pulling the uh, bolt. BKD looking to see if Anthem is pushing forward aggressively. Not gonna quite catch him there. Anthem on this A site, alone, being that lurker, which he is for the team. They don't know he's here. Now they do. Fury taking him out, however. Zalvis waiting for Fury to move on. Callum also keeping the same angle. Well, they get flanked though. And that's why Zalvis starts to move back. BKD coming from ramp. Nice kill there from Callum. Callum getting another one. This is now a 2v2. A real comeback. Unfortunately, BKD takes out Zarvas. But Callum takes down BKD, and it's a 1v1. Though Jordy, yet again, has that advantage. This time, he's facing Callum and not Jiggins. And he's got an AWP. Which is not exactly what you want for this retake. He's still taking the fight, though. He knows Callum is about half health. How will this go? He's looking at heaven, not trying to repeat the same mistake as his teammate. Just missing the timing, missing each other. Oh, that is scary!
Doesn't matter, he hasn't got the time anyway. Jolly unknown. Going down. Oh no! Wow! That is uh, faster than I thought. Not gonna lie. A really nice clutch there from uh, Jody. Well, not really a clutch. Win of the 1v1 from uh, Jody Unknown. Again! Just being able to buy up. It's very impressive that they, they had such an economy lead. I mean, it's kind of now on the other foot, isn't it? For UPCS. They have that economy. Though they've taken a lot of damage over these rounds, which they have won. Two one last man standings from, uh, from UPCS. Jordy being very aggressive again with this orb. Jumping up there, I mean... Hey, if you can hold that angle, you can hold that angle. Will they walk out into that crossfire again? <laughs> they just run past at the time, and he's not going to get anything. He's looking for that next person. Mrs. Jenkins, will he die for it? He does die to Jenkins in the end. Jenkins picking up that orb. Getting a lot of shots at him. But dying to Dean Koo. Not quite being as well acquainted with that weapon as his teammates are. Can. Helping keep Anthem safe. Even with this full health. Wow! Dealing a lot of damage, taking Fury down to also being chunked. And helps seal out this fight. Alongside Tentos with a nice kill on the prior enemy. Another A push, which they did earlier, but haven't done for a while, which why is Dean Dean is being so aggressive here? Doesn't really believe they'll be here. And he's caught off guard by Anthem! But now they know the jig is up. They start to move onto the site. Anthem taking this high ground. Dropping straight down. Oh, BKD almost with that sneaky kill, but doesn't quite get it. And Hickorus taking out Callum. Keeping on Hickorus, sitting in connector. Something, but he's getting a lot of nades towards him. Stopping him from really doing anything. Geordie looking for that flank. Can he find something? Almost half health. Well, pretty much half health Sarvis. And leaves Hickorus to try and clutch us out alone. Hickorus moving positions and not getting flashed. Good. Can't get that shot to Jiggins. Oh, he does! And just kill off Jiggins. Being all banged by Dentos. Just moves away and dies to Anthem in his beautiful flank. Oh, really nice pick there from Anthem at the end of the fight. Quite impressive. So yeah. Uh, now an advantage in economy. Back to NUCS with a really strong C T. Sorry, with this really strong T round. This is looking dominant from them considering how their C T round went against the last team. They were not strong on the uh, on the T side the other way or the other. Uh, the other match they played. They managed to clutch out on the last few rounds of the fight. Oh, sorry, of the game. Winning like three or four rounds straight uh, due to a, an economy lead. Really nice early pick from Fury. Is Hecarus able to get that sneaky kill again? He's trying to kill Jiggins, but he. Oh my god, he gets it! But he dies to Callum in the end. So. But hey, getting any pick on a team with AKs is worth. Jordy coming in with his USP. Callum getting some spray down. Jordy just looking for a pick. If you can get a pick, you can go from there. Now they know where he is and he's pretty boned. He dives for it. Gotta hit that first shot, gotta make it count. Otherwise you're just gonna get nothing out of it. Uh, again, apologies to the people that thought this game was starting at 8.45. We had a speed up of schedule, uh, unfortunately. I did try and message uh, the chat, which I posted to, but... C'est la vie. Jordi, going for this aggressive sand up here. Well, no, not jumping up this time, which is uh, kind of nice to know. Bit of different adaption where you don't have the power of that orb to just take that pick. Anthem's team getting flashed as they come onto site. 
with him taking it up from heaven. She gets taken a lot of damage, spraying down Hikar him, uh, Hikarus clicks. Sorry. Fury jumping out. Going down after taking down Zarvis. Jenkins getting another kill. Three kills so far this round for Jenkins. Can he make it four? Waiting for you there uh, for... Oh! Bad timing for that reload on Jenkins. Bit of a mistake there. BKD looking for a way onto site. Callum sitting behind those boxes waiting for someone to try and defuse. Just pop out. And some dying to Tentos. PKD being taken out by Callum. It's gonna have some angry reacts in the chat of uh, NUCS in their Discord. But it's fine. They have enough uh, economy to afford that. It's not the worst thing in the world. So now it looks like a B push, but we might have someone going mid in uh, Zarvis. A nice leg there from Zarvis. Can he get what he needs? Oh! Yeah. Take mid control. Making it harder for um, UP to uh, rotate. Really nice kill there from Callum. Right, Anthem comes out and dies, unfortunately, to Fury. But Zarvis and Tento's getting some. A lovely, lovely sneaky play from BKD. Getting a double kill onto NUCS. Making it a 2 on 2, even after those initial brilliant picks. Zarvis not hitting the shot he needs onto BKD. Oh, 12 HP. And he's gonna almost finish him off with the P250. He's gonna wall bang him. Got 10 toes. No Furies over there. But Salvas is gonna get it in the end and clean up. Will they be able to get the plant? No, not quite. Not that it matters too much with such a no economy lead. Jiggins, a little bit lacking on the front alongside Anthem, but the rest of the team being pretty well equipped. Most likely going to be able to buy on the next round. So I'm just looking for a pick here, getting smoked off. Sadly missing that, that would have been a brilliant pick, but it's an unlikely one to get, not everyone even does that. Fury looking for this nade, throwing it close to the right time, not getting any da two damage onto Anthem. A little bit later, would have gotten something, pretty major. Anthem. Making sure there's no one waiting for him. Spraying down Fury. He knows he's there. But dies to Fury in that firefight. Chicken's getting picked straight away. Zarvis moving on site with his P250. Trying to get something. A no scope there. Not getting the second no scope. Trying to luck, luck too much, Zarvis. And a strong first half from NUCS. Which for them seems slightly CT sided. Or maybe the last match was a bit of an anomaly. 5 10 again, first round for uh, NUCS. 10 5 uh, in their favour. Unlike the first, well, like the first round, but this time they're moving on to CT. I'm gonna be looking at. Where is he? Can we look at Zar? Oh, no. I'm going to be looking Anthem, because he's had some really nice solo holes. Not so great with the pistols, but generally pretty good on this B site. Has a really gr good grasp of the timings, and have had a play around cover on this site. And people entering. See. Beautiful. Beautifully played. Getting that first pick. Can get the second? Make it two. Three for his team. But will he get his third? BKD pushed behind Van. And it's 4v1. Can he make the clutch? He's getting spammed up. Sarvis pretty much getting that. Looking for the knife, but his teammates finish him off before he gets there. Feels bad, man. When the teammate steals the knife from you. So we're probably going to see this force come out from uh, NUCS. Yeah, some sort of strange force. Making sure they have better weapons and armor than the uh, uh, T side. Just, they have that advantage, but they don't have to invest too much into it. Especially since they know there's going to be some uh, pistols coming out from uh, UP. Jenkins holding where uh, Swamp would normally sit. Swamp. I don't know quite what he's doing. 
Yeah. Ten toes. Looking for Geordie. Doesn't know he's there, but he will do soon. Zarvis with a nice pick onto Geordie. And we're gonna look on the A side because they're all running in. Jiggins gets a nice spray gets a nice spray down. Doesn't even take any damage for his troubles. Make it two, make it three. Make it four. A 4k there from Jiggins. Oh, that nice pick from Zarvis on that tunnel. So now, what UP are really looking for is... a next. So this round they're trying to do is enough damage in order to delay buys from uh, NUCS. So if they can get picks onto Callum, onto Zarvis, onto the members who don't tend to have too much money, then they can try... Oh wow, lovely, lovely a side play with the chickens. Make that two, make it almost three. Unfortunately dying here. Callum taking over control of the site though. Getting one, two. Making it three. And no, four! Oh sorry, he took one of the kills which I thought and had attributed to Jiggins. So what they want to do is they want to use this... Uh, minor damage unfortunately they've done and uh buy some nice items and they've got five AKs coming out which is just still a strong buy it's no it's no double AWP and two three AKs but it's still very good here. I'm not complaining about it if I were uh UP Who's got the bomb? Icarus having a bomb, most likely not going to be the entry dragon, so it's probably going to be Geordie. He's looking for a nice smoke setup though. Yeah. All quiet on the western front. As Geordie throws it in, his team starts to move up. BKD being that front man. Can he find anything? Fury taking a bit of damage from the. Oh, lovely, lovely nade dealing a lot of damage there. Not sure quite who, but Calm takes down BKD. Icarus trying to fight back, but just not finding what he needs. Just hit, getting hit by all sorts of crossfire. And from spamming at him. Doesn't know quite where he is, but has a vague idea. Sealing out that round venue CS, and it's going to be two games, of, two matches, sorry, two rounds away from a possible win for NUCS. The dominating CT side so far haven't even dropped a single round. Very strong CT side. And they all have AKs, which is uh, funny to say the least. You'd normally see it on the other side. Uh, it's going to be AKs versus AKs. A mirror match of the century. Tentos. Going down to Dean Koo. Really nice shots from Dean Koo. Darvis looking for something. Managed to get one, make it two. Well, it's three, but he has to fall back. Make it three! Lovely there from Zarvis. Jiggins pulling his weight on his own. Being on the main roster. Really showing up in this game. Ten toes. Not being on the main roster. Being the only player to not super shop. I mean, it's not a disrespectable score. But it's, it's, it's not quite stellar uh, in comparison to uh, the... Kills coming out from the rest of the team. In fact, Zal uh, Anthem, in fact, pulling not pulling his weight as much in this game because uh, I'd, I'd attribute it to a lack of B push. Hickerus managing to sneak onto B site, but doesn't have bombs, so can't even get anything out of that. He tries to steep on Zarvas, but Zarvas is sitting in that room covering that bomb. He's just going to walk into him. It's the only way he's going to get out of here. He suspects him being there. But Salvas just picks him off as he walks in. 15-5. Will they even drop a CT round here? This is going to have to be a force buy from UPCS. This is not looking good. Bad scenario. Just really demoralizing that you just can't get through this unbreakable defense of NUCS. Anthem, doing his B-side things. Will he get his time to shine here? Throwing a lot of nades. 
UPCS going B side this time. Anthem going absolutely nuts and getting a 2k already. Not long into the round. Throwing up a flash. Getting some damage down to Jordy. Making it three kills. Almost four! Making it four. Four whole kills from Anthem on that B site hold alone. Oh, I would be scared if I was this team. I would not take them here. Because this CT side is, CT side is terrifying. BKD dying. Callum. And that's a good game. And not dropping a single CT side. Sorry. Not dropping a single CT side round for NUCS. Brilliant play there from them. Okay, uh, see us being a little bit strange. Uh, you've got a black screen in chat. Oh no, wait, no, it's go back to the thing. I'm frozen here too, don't worry. We're all frozen here together. You're a little bit late, aren't you, one? Um, we're already over, so yeah.